What's up guys? So today I'm going to be dyeing these seats black. Now I've seen it done a few times on YouTube and it usually looks pretty good. They always say that like the, the texture will get harder, but these are kind of old seats. So maybe it'll make them feel better. But anyway, I'm going to show you real quick what I did to get the seat out. It may not be the same thing on your car, but okay, and this is the stuff we're using. But you just take the four seat bolts that hold the seat to the ground. You take those out and take off these clips. And then I had to take this clip off right here because I had to get the seat belt unattached. So don't worry about that. I'm going to clean that up. But anyway, you're just going to need for an Avenger a 50, a T50 Torx bit, a flathead, and a, one of these. I didn't have to take this little screw out that went up here, but I think I'm going to pull these off and try to paint them too. So that's why I did that. But anyway... I'm gonna get to this and maybe we can make these old seats look pretty nice and uh, make my wife happy. Okay, so we're gonna be using Duplicolor Vinyl and Fabric Specialty Coating and it says it'll coat door, dashboards, door panels, center consoles, trim and seats. So there's a special way they tell you to do this online. You'll do one coat spraying that way and then you get a brush and like brush it in. So I guess it breaks the little fabric up and helps it penetrate all the little fabric pieces. And then your next coat, you'll go the other way, the opposite way of the one you went on the first coat. And then you'll brush it that way. And then it should be, it should be good after that. But um, I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about it, but we're going to see what happens. I mean, Worst case scenario, I'll just have to buy new seats, but I don't think it's going to go there or I probably wouldn't do it. But anyway, I'm going to put a time lapse on for y'all so y'all can see, you know, the process of spraying. <laughs> All right guys, so this is three coats. I'm thinking I need maybe one or two more. Kind of even out some of it. Um, I hit the trim on the side and uh, I actually ran out of paint. It took two cans to do just the front of this seat and the sides and not the back, so. I don't know if I went overkill, but I don't know. I'm going to try to do it right. So I'll keep y'all posted. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you how many cans it took and how much it cost. All right, y'all. So the last time I left y'all, I was saying how in another video, I was going to do the headliner black. But I just decided to go ahead and do it in this same video just so I can give a complete like transformation on how to black your car interior out basically you just tape the lights off and um i'm gonna tape around the windshield and <clears throat> i've taped around the back and painted that little whatever you want to call that and um so yeah you just do some minor tape and this stuff doesn't spray very crazy it doesn't have a very wide spray pattern so you don't really end up getting into a mess but take your visors off that way you can get in all the little crevices and tape the stuff off without having to set in the car um yeah so you like you can get this little stuff down here but other than that it's pretty straightforward i took these pillars off so i didn't have to tape as much on the inside of the windshield right in here 
So um, I'm just gonna hit a tape line or two at the top of the windshield and then everything should be that color. And then hopefully I don't have to do a whole lot more. But anyway, y'all stay tuned. I'll give y'all a little update here in a minute. Okay, so it's totally done now. I did the pillars, the mirrors, the lights, headliner, the back portion, the seats, everything, the doors. So as you can tell, it looks pretty good. Um, it cost me about $150 to do all this. So if y'all are looking to do this, it's not too expensive and it ends up looking pretty good. I will say the seats are crunchy, which I already knew that that was gonna happen. So I'm gonna like scrub them down once I feel like they're totally healed up and dried and try to get them scrubbed down a little bit so that I can get them a little bit smoother and softer. But everything looks good. It matches good. I did gloss black on the seats and then I did flat black on the roof. And I mean, it all matches perfect. I think if you're gonna do plastic panels, use the flat. As you can see right here, it, it matches that door pillar that was already, the bottom half was already there from stock. It was already black, so this matched it almost perfect. But you can see that gloss over there on the bottom half of the door doesn't match exactly perfect but that's okay. Um, my advice is that if you're gonna do door panels or anything like your, your dashboard or something, then make sure you do um, flat black because it'll match that flat look. Like, look at that pillar compared to the dash. But anyway, I'm not gonna try to make this too long. It's probably already long enough by now. But y'all, subscribe, like, and comment down below what you think. And if you would have done this to your 